Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. I'm Tiffany, and I'm not going to waste any time. I got some really cute DIYs for you, and let's get into them. DIY number one. So here guys, I took another one of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. Um, I did paint it white. Um, uh, these napkins came from uh, Target, I do believe. Um, I have so many napkins. Uh, these have actually been in my stash for a very long time. I have no idea how long I've had these in my stash. Um, but I did take off the one ply here and I'm just cutting them into strips. They were folded um, in this in the three um, tripod here so I'm just cutting them into strips like that and um, I am out of Mod Podge. I actually just picked up some recently but here I'm actually using some top coach from DIY. Um, it works just as good but I do recommend using some kind of Mod Podge or glue or anything like that but basically is what we're doing is we're decoupaging it to this pumpkin and I'm just using it in very long strips and I'm just going down and just going over the top I'm not you know trying to be precise or anything like that I'm just going right down the line And then once I get one done, I grab another one and just go right over. And continue on going around, around it. So I do overlap these as well. Which does take a lot longer to dry, but it comes out really cool. Some spots were darker than others which I thought was kinda cool. I just really liked the flannel look of this. Um, so then this one here is basically all I did was tear it into, into uh, pieces and just um, piece it together into the spots that I needed it to be. So. And then after all of my little spots were covered, I let it dry. And then I go in with some of the stems from Dollar Tree. And I didn't go too um, wild with some detailing on here. I really wanted this flannel to stand out, but I figured I would, I grabbed some of this, uh, some twine rope that I have. Um, this I got from Walmart. I've had it in my stash forever. Um, I just tied it kind of like wrapped it around the stem and I kind of unraveled it to make it just kind of look like tendrils. And then I just grabbed some of these little white berries and just glued them down. I wanted this this one to kind of stand out with just the colors. 
And so there you guys have it. DIY number two. So this one is actually one of the trays from Dollar Tree. Um, I painted, it's one of the, it's, uh, it was actually, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm drawing a freaking blank. Um, it's, it was one of the gold trays. Um, I had it painted black from a previous project that I was going to do and I never did. Um, but I am just grabbing my um, old 57 color DIY paint and just going over the edge of this. I left the middle of it black and I'm just using this for the edge of it. I went over all four sides. I did two two coats on this because it was it was kind of streaky. So I just wanted to make it look more I, I didn't like the the brush stroke, so I just kind of made it more solid colorish. Um and if you guys are not familiar with DIY paint, it is um clay based, so it will reactivate with water. Um so you have to seal it. So this is what the big top is for. It is a um, it is a top coat for your DIY paint. So that is what I'm using here. I'm just going over top of it so it won't be reactivated if it gets wet. And I'm just using my heat gun to dry it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure what I think about this one, you guys. I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up these little mushrooms. Um, I actually saw an idea of this off of Pinterest. And this is just going off of my version of it. Um, they actually use some of the wooden um, leaves. But I thought I had some in my stash and I could not find any and I went to the Dollar Tree and I was just like, you know what, maybe I'll just go pick up some more and they didn't have any out. And I was like, you know, mushrooms are really in right now. Maybe I could make a cute little DIY with some mushrooms. So that's kind of where this idea came from. I got inspired off of Pinterest, but this is kind of where it led to. So this is what I was going with. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's cute and it, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's not cute and I'm, it's not like I'm not digging it. I'm just not sure. I, I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think. Is it your style? Um, I know, like I said, the mushrooms are really big. Some people are, like, really digging the mushrooms. This was also something that I was really hem-hawing around about. Um, I wanted to make it fall since we are doing fall DIYs, and I just wasn't sure if it was screaming fall with me. So I kind of wanted to add some of those fall colors. Um, I do end up adding the fall colors, but then I wasn't quite sure. Like, you kind of saw me put them under there and then pull them back out. Like, I wasn't sure. I do end up going in there, adding them under there anyway, just for my preference. Um, I'm a diehard color fanatic when it comes to um, fall. Um, that's what I love about the fall is the colors. But let me know, guys, what you think of this project. I'm kind of curious of what you think. And if you would have left it. DIY number three. So this one is kind of a simple thing, but it was fun to do. Um, so this one I had in my stash for a while, and I don't know if they even have these in there no more. This is, um, I got this from... Dollar Tree as well, but this is from their uh, dollar or their uh, plus section. 
Um, I got this um, from last year, I believe. I believe it was from last year. Um, but it's a metal truck, and I b believe I paid three dollars for it. It did have uh, a, one of those big pumpkin things that you saw me tear out. But I wanted to add some detailing in the back and stuff, and I wanted to add my own spin on it. I didn't like their their setup that they had back there. So I decided I was going to add some kind of fencing, and I'm just going to willy-nilly. I wanted to make this farmhousey as as I can. So I was fine with... I mean, I was just going with the flow. I mean, I knew they were going to split when I was cutting these, and I was fine with that. The broken looking, the better. I mean, I, I wanted it to look like they were... Um, falling apart that it you know the old farmer built this himself and like they were on there for a long time I wanted it to look like it was it had some wear and tear so I was okay with with it so I kind of just cut and had them split themselves and whatever it looked like when it came off is how it went on there um, this one I even only put like one big long one on there. I didn't even put two. Um, I should have though painted these before I glued them on there. Me being stupid. I mean it all turned out fine and, and dandy and I did get it all painted but I should have painted it before I glued it all together because it is a pain in the butt to try to get in all the little nooks and crannies and get it painted decent. So, you know, lesson learned. But you know darn well you're going to make the same mistake eventually again because that's crafting. But huh, anyway. So I do paint the front and back of all the fencing and, and junk. So. Once that was done, um, I do kind of, I mean, pull all apart of this, but I wanted to use the raffia. I really liked the color of it. It kind of had the old-timey color to it, and it worked. Um, the only stuff I really have is, like, the old hula skirts and stuff, and this one just had the color and everything already. Um... I had some of these old picks. I do believe I got these from like a thrift store a while back of these like little little tiny pumpkins and they all seem to work. I had two little tiny picks of them. I believe I got them like 50 cents. It might even been a garage sale lot, guys. I don't even know. I had them in my stash for a long time. But I grab off these little four pumpkins that all match and I just glued these all down in here and then I wanted to add one little detail to it so I grabbed one of these little calendars and I just decide I'm gonna cut this little truck out back here it says uh, happy harvest on it and I just cut it out I'm going to stick that right down to the door. And I just used my little hot, or my little, my little hot, my little, um, glue stick for that. And there you guys have that one. Very simple projects. All Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoy these. And here's the final reveal. Please give me a thumbs up down there. Let me know, guys, which ones are were your favorite. I am a stickler for red trucks. I probably have to say it's probably the red truck that I really like. Um, I love all things fall, but the red trucks are probably... I mean, I love them all year long. But let me know, guys, down below which ones you appreciate, which ones you want to recreate. All your comments. I love... I love reading them all. 
I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have stopped by and to appreciate... I appreciate every single one of you. I mean, I love, love listening to all of your... Er, listening. <laughs> Reading all of your guys' comments. You guys are all great. All of you wonderful. You light up my day every time I read your comments. And the likes and everything, you guys, you're all so wonderful. And I appreciate, I appreciate y'all. And I can't wait until I get you out another video. Let me know also down below, guys, when do you think I should start Christmas DIYs? I've noticed that there are a couple of people that are already starting them. To me, I find it a little early, but let me know down below what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and God bless. Bye.